Hello and welcome to Creative Edmo. I hope you liked my previous video about meeting Suzanne where I discussed and explained the story in detail. So in today's video, we are going to discuss some important questions. I suggest you watch my explanation video first. Link is given in the description box. That way you will be able to understand these questions easily. So let's begin. But before that, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, then please subscribe and press the bell icon to receive notifications. First, we'll start with the objective type MCQs and then we'll discuss the subjective type questions. So let's begin. Number one, Yannick threw the tablecloth into the fire because he was careless. He always did this when he cleaned the table or Amandine told him to do so. The correct answer is he always did this when he cleaned the table. Question two. Uncle Bruno was angry with Amandine because she didn't tell Yannick to save the tablecloth. She shouted at Yannick in front of everyone or she blamed Yannick unfairly for the ruined tablecloth. The correct answer is she blamed Yannick unfairly for the ruined tablecloth. According to Uncle Bruno, the unforgettable thing that had happened to Yannick was that the famous man liked his creme brulee that a great artist had made him a painting to show his appreciation for Yannick's effort or that he had met a great painter. And the correct answer is that a great artist had made him a painting to show his appreciation for Yannick's effort. Next question. Uncle Bruno asked Yannick to always look on the bright side of things. Option A, because doing so would change a bad situation because doing so would help him face a bad situation or so that he could always remain cheerful. The correct answer is option B, because doing so would help him face a bad situation. The artist did not get angry at Yannick for not recognizing him because option A, he didn't care for what Yannick thought about him. Option B, he knew that Yannick was his friend's nephew and meant no ill will. Or option C, he was touched by Yannick's innocence and his earnest attempt to set things right. Earnest means sincere. So the correct answer is option C. He was touched by Yannick's innocence and his earnest attempt to set things right. Who was going to visit the inn? Was he someone important? How do you know? A famous man was going to visit the inn. He was an important man. He has been described as the inn's best customer. Amandine instructed Yannick to do everything properly because they were expecting their best customer. She told Yannick that he lived in the chateau in the village and was very famous. Thus, we get to know he was quite an important person. That's why there was a bustle at the inn because everyone was busy preparing for his arrival. Why did Amandine try to remove the burning tablecloth from the fire? According to Amandine, the famous man was the most famous painter in the world. He left a tip for her father in the form of a drawing on the paper tablecloth. Since he was such a renowned painter, renowned means famous, any drawing made by him must have been quite valuable and precious. That is why Amandine tried to remove the burning tablecloth from the fire. She was trying to save that drawing. Did Amandine think her father would be angry with her for the burnt tablecloth? What tells you this? Yes, Amandine thought that her father would be angry with her for the burnt tablecloth. This tells us that the tablecloth was quite precious. The famous painter often left a tip for Amandine's father in the form of a drawing on the tablecloth. Since he was such a renowned painter, any drawing made by him must have been quite valuable and precious. So Amandine thought that his father would be angry because that precious drawing got destroyed. That's why she was blaming Yannick who threw the tablecloth into the fire. I thought she was going to lie. Who is the speaker talking about? Why did he think that she was going to lie? Yannick is the speaker here. He is talking about Amandine. 
When Uncle Bruno asked her if she had told Yannick about how the painter left the tip on the tablecloth, Yannick thought that she would lie to save herself from her father's anger. He thought that she would put the blame on him, but she didn't do it. I had worked out exactly what to do and how to do it. What was the speaker going to do and why? What does this say about him? The speaker is Yannick. He was going to meet the famous man in his chateau and request him to make another drawing for his uncle Bruno. Yannick felt responsible for destroying the drawing. He wanted to set things right. He wanted to make Amandine happy. This shows that Yannick loved his uncle and Amandine. He cared for Amandine a lot and didn't want her to feel sad. This also shows that he was quite courageous because he was not afraid to go to the chateau alone. He felt it was the right thing to do. I am discussing these answers quickly because I have already made a detailed video about meeting Suzanne. Please don't forget to go through that explanation video. Link is given in the description below. Now next question. Now that I was this close to him, I could see he was indeed very old, but his eyes were young, bright and searching. How has this image of the painter been contrasted against Yannick's first impression of him? When the painter visited the inn, Yannick thought he looked like any other ordinary man with very little hair. But when he saw him in the chateau, he observed him closely and noticed that even though he looked quite old, yet his eyes were young, bright and searching. His body was old, but his spirit was young. Just as I had seen them in Brittany. What did the speaker see in Brittany? What did he compare that sight with? Do you think he was surprised that they were so similar? Yannick was the speaker. He saw four sailing boats racing over the sea and beyond a lighthouse in Brittany. He compared that sight with the drawing that the famous painter sketched for him. Yes, he was quite surprised. Whatever he described in words was beautifully captured by the painter on paper. In the beginning of the story, how does the writer show us that Yannick is not very impressed by the famous man? Does he tell us this directly? No, he doesn't tell us this directly. He implies it when Yannick mentioned that the famous man looked like an ordinary man without much hair. How does the writer show a change in the atmosphere of the room when Amandine shouts at Yannick? The inn was bustling with excitement earlier. The guests were enjoying their meals, but the atmosphere of the room became tense and somber. Somber means sad and serious. But Amandine shouted at Yannick. The writer shows this change through the line. Everyone in the restaurant stopped eating and went silent. Why do you think the writer made the other people in the room react in this manner? There was a sudden emotional outburst by the owner's daughter, Amandine. She started shouting at Yannick and blamed him. This would obviously catch the attention of the other guests who must have been confused and curious about the whole incident. So the writer made the other people react in this manner to convey the seriousness of the situation and to give a realistic touch to the story. Such an emotional outburst would be something that happened rarely in the inn. So obviously the writer wanted to show the shock that it must have caused to the customers and other people in the inn. Why do you think the writer focuses on the contrast between the famous man's appearance and his eyes? The famous man has been described as old with very little hair. However, his eyes have been described as young, bright and searching. So, the writer wants to convey that even though the famous man looked old, yet his spirit was young. That is why he focuses on the contrast between the famous man's appearance and his eyes. Throughout the text, the famous man is described as the greatest painter in the world. And yet, at the end, he wishes his name was Suzanne. What does this say about how he feels about Suzanne? 
This shows that Picasso has great respect and admiration for Cezanne and his art. People call him the greatest painter in the world, but this does not make him arrogant. In fact, he is quite humble and modest. Why do you think the writer has waited until the very end to reveal the famous man's identity? Reveal means to show. This added a twist to the story and made the story interesting. Great storytellers often keep the readers engaged till the very end. So I think I have covered all the important questions. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you and happy learning.